Hey, what's up, you guys? You're listening to The Powers Report. I'm your host, Noel Powers. Uh, Now, before we get started, um, I just want to say that what I'm going to be talking about today is not the central theme of these podcasts or this channel, Um, but I wanted to start with something important and uh, something that It was very personal about me, so I'm going to be sharing my college application story, and I hope that it can help, uh, if anything, just de-stress some of the high school seniors who are uh, currently in the shoes that I was in just a year ago. Um, First off, I want to start with a few things about me. Um, I grew up in Sanford, North Carolina, um, and I currently go to the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. and I will get into how I ended up here in just a moment. Um, Now, I know what it's like to be stressed about college applications. I know what it's like to not get into your dream school. And I just want to start off by saying it's okay. You know, there's a plan for everyone, and everyone has a purpose on this earth and in this life. And I just want to say that it's not the end of the world if you don't get into your dream school because there is something for you out there. Regardless of how you feel right now, there is something special for you out there wherever you end up. Um, So yeah, that being said, uh, let's get into it. Um, Now, October of my senior year, I applied to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. That was my dream school. Um, To me, that was the, the top of the mountain. That was the best place I could possibly end up. And I had about negative 2% confidence that I was going to get in there. Um, That being said, I got my hopes up. And I actually did early decision, which is different from regular decision because it's early. I mean, (laughs) that's that's about it. Um, It also tells the school that they're a top priority to you, and uh, it kind of changes the way they look at you a little bit. If if you're putting them as a priority, then uh, they're more likely to put you as a priority. So... um, I did early decision, and in January, I got my decision, um, and I got deferred. Now, deferred and waitlisted are two different things. They're very similar, but getting deferred is actually um, the college waiting for the regular decision applicants to send in uh, their applications, and then they'll look over that applicant pool and they'll decide whether or not you have a spot. So I did that, and I got deferred. And um, when they sent out regular decision, um, when they sent out regular decisions, I actually got waitlisted. So this is twice now I've been told that I had to wait. Um, So I got waitlisted. And when they sent out the waitlist decisions, um got denied. Now, getting waitlisted is essentially the college looks at the regular decision and everyone who decided to go there who got in during early decision, and if there are any spots open, then you'll be considered. Um, at least that's that's what I gathered from it. So, um, you know, getting deferred and getting waitlisted instead of getting outright rejected is an accomplishment to me. Um, no, I didn't get to go to the school, but uh, it means that I wasn't a definite no to begin with. So, uh, I mean, that kind of made me feel better, but I was still I was still very much heartbroken because that was my dream school. That was, that was my quest. And ever since I can remember, you know, I grew up a Carolina fan, and I'm actually wanting to go into the field of journalism, and Carolina has an outstanding journalism program an outstanding journalism school. So uh, going there would have been ideal because I'm a fan of the school, I'm a fan of their athletics, and they have an amazing program for what I'm wanting to go into. So uh, going there would have been great, but unfortunately I uh, I got denied. And uh, I ended up going with my second choice, which was UNC Wilmington. Now, uh, before I say what I'm about to say, I just want to say that on any on any other given day, I would tell you that UNC Wilmington is the best school I could think of. You know, one of my one of my favorite schools in the country. Um, but over the past couple of days, I've been struggling with some emotional things uh, regarding college, and 
uh, over the past couple of days, I haven't really felt at home here. Now, it's not usually like that. I usually love it down here. It's it's close to the beach. It's very chill, very relaxed. Um, so like I said, I, I love it most of the time. But uh, I've just, I've had Chapel Hill on my mind a lot lately. And all I can think about is the fact that I'm not there. Um, so I just wanted to say that, you know, just because you don't get into your dream school, that does not mean it's the end of the world. It, it just means that you, you're going down a rocky road and there's something better for you waiting at the end of it. Um, you know, life is full of turns, full of a bunch of different paths that you're going to take. And, you know, college is a big one. Now, not every road that you face is going to be smooth. You know, some of them are going to feel like they haven't been paved in 50 years. There's going to be potholes and cracks in the road. And, you know, a lot of times those rocky roads that you face end up having something even more special at the end of them. Um, so I just want to say, you know, you, you have a purpose on this earth and you have a purpose in this life. And just because you don't get into the school that you're hoping to get into does not mean it's the end of the world. That doesn't mean it's the end of your journey. Um, and if you're like me and you're still feeling like this, if you didn't get into your dream school and you're still feeling like this a year later, you can look at it like, you know, there's always the option to transfer. Um, this time next year, I'm more than likely going to be biting my nails and, you know, wishing that the application decision would hurry up and get here because I'm, I'm hoping to apply to be a transfer at UNC Chapel Hill. So I'm going to have to go through that college application experience twice. Um, now, part of me is nervous to do that because I don't want to set myself up for heartbreak again. But um, if next year rolls around and I still feel the way I feel right now, then I'm more than likely going to apply to transfer. Um, I just, I feel really at home there. And, you know, I, I feel like that's where I need to be. Um, but yeah, on any other given day, I would tell you that UNC Wilmington is one of the best schools you could possibly go to. Um, if you're thinking about applying here or you're thinking about going on a tour here, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing school. Um, but I feel like Chapel Hill for me feels more like home. Um, so yeah, that being said, uh, I love this school. I love UNC Wilmington and there's still, you know, a decent chance that I'm, I'm going to stay here my four years, but, um, I'm also considering transferring. So yeah, guys, um, like I said, the, the purpose behind this video was to help people who were stressed out. Um, if you're hoping to get into a school and it's your dream school and you don't get in, please don't look at it like it's the end of the world and don't do what I did and just completely reject the idea of going anywhere else. Because when I found out I didn't get into Carolina, I didn't want to go anywhere else. But you can't do that because you miss out on opportunities that way. I came down to UNC Wilmington and I started writing for the paper, school paper. Um, I started covering sports teams that I would probably never get to cover unless, you know, I was like my senior year or something at Chapel Hill. Um, I mean, I'm covering men's basketball, which is huge up in Chapel Hill. And I, I'm, I would imagine it's reserved for the seniors who write on the paper. But I'm a freshman and I'm getting to cover men's basketball. I mean, it's great. and it's, Wilmington's full of opportunities. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, purpose of this video and the lesson that I hope anyone listening learned is that if you don't get into your dream school or if you don't get into school that you're hoping to go to, just just focus on the positives and just know that you have a purpose and you're going to end up where you need to be. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Um, I know that got a little deep and a little emotional, uh, but I just want to say thank you for anyone that stayed until the end. Um, so that wraps it up for this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And tell me your college application stories. All right. Thank you guys.